Hi guys, so you just watched part one, so welcome back to part two. I know I kind of didn't announce it on the first video, but this is part two. I had to break it up because, you know, I just had a lot of information to give you guys. So we're kind of just going to get into the second part of the video. The next thing was a scalp massager. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. This kind of wet because it was in my shower. It's got massager. This has been, it's supposed to vibrate, but I dropped it in the shower and water so much it doesn't. You know, it's got massager. I use this when I wash my hair and these, you know, you could massage your scalp with your fingers because the, when you massage your scalp, the blood goes and it opens up, I'm sorry, it opens up the flow of circulation of blood to your scalp to wake your hair follicles up to cause it to grow. So I use a scalp massager. I've been using this for a while, almost a year now, and I love this thing. And my hair growth really accelerated when I used one of these. Um, it's a Vanity Planet scalp massager, and I love it. And you know, you should really invest in one. I know y'all like, oh my God, I don't, but they have coupon codes for it and everything. So I would say get you a scalp massager. I do it every time I wash my hair, I use my scalp massager. Y'all know if I'm washing my hair three or four times a week, I use my scalp massager and that helps to stimulate hair growth. That's why my hair grew a lot faster with my diet and if I wasn't using a scalp massager, that's a major key for hair growth, a scalp massager, guys. All right, the next thing is your nighttime routine, like how you sleep. You wanna wear something, wear a satin or silk to bed, cover your hair up, cover up your ends so that the cotton has no way to rub against your hair. Even if you wanna get you a satin pillowcase, you can get that, they sell those. I don't have one of those. I have a bonnet or I have other things that are satin. Um, I have scarves. You wanna get you something that's satin or silk to be able to really truly um, just grow your hair out and be able to do what it is that you need to do to get that hair growth going um, besides during the day and the stuff that you do. Your nighttime routine is important. Covering your hair up. Um, don't wear anything tight to bed. Like, I obviously, I'm not going to wear my hair in this ponytail to bed. I take it down and I put my bonnet on. When I go to sleep and wake back up, I fluff it back out and do it again. So, your nighttime routine is important. The next thing is, oh, when I stop going to the hairdresser. Um, I know people are going to get on me about that. When I stop going to the hairdresser, my hair really thrived and grew because I just take care of it now. And it's in a better state. And it gave me a chance to learn my hair when you don't go to the hairdresser it gives you a chance to learn your hair learn what your hair needs learn how to take care of your hair don't be afraid to take care of your own hair you will learn so much um just from that like a lot of the greats from watching youtube a lot of people like natural rain kimberly Sherelle, um paige leanne um who else natural 85 there's so many different people like i did i've watched that have helped me to grow my hair out and when i stopped going to the hairdresser and i did watch youtube because people on youtube do know what they're talking about about hair growth that's why a lot of them have a lot of hair and i really opened up my mind because i'm always a student and learning i don't know everything i always like to learn and i watch a lot of those people's videos so i can really truly just learn stuff i like to learn i like i'm always a student i'm always willing to learn so I watched a lot of their videos on different things and that was how I learned about taking care of hair and hair growth and you know just a lot of things to get my hair to grow and thrive. So that's another thing. Um, using sulfate free shampoos. In the beginning I wasn't so much. I used this as my sulfate free shampoo, the Cream of Nature Pure Honey uh, Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo. I use that to grow my hair out. It has done wonders. I use that when I'm not clarifying. I'll use a moisturizing shampoo one week which is that and then use a clarifying shampoo the next week and i'll rotate them out but it just helps keep the moisture in your hair and it doesn't take everything off of your hair like a sulfate um shampoo would so they're really good and i, I would say that no heat that's hard for some people if you've been straightening your hair for a long time and that's all you used to and you're not really comfortable wearing your natural hair that's going to be hard for you but for me it wasn't hard i knew i know what my hair looks like straight that's why i don't straighten it i mean if i went to i'll look back on pictures y'all seen it in my natural hair journey 
I'll straighten my hair, but I'm not really pressed to see what my hair looks like straight. I just keep it in its natural state. And the most I might do to stretch it is I blow dry it. So I stayed away from heat completely. And I'm talking about flat irons. I'm not talking about my hooded dryer. And I'm talking, not talking about the blow dryer when I do my roots or when I'm doing something for stretch. I'm talking about flat irons. Once I stayed away from the flat irons, my hair was really able to grow and thrive. And it wasn't fried anymore because when I was getting my hair flat ironed, my hair was fried. Like, you know, they put them flat irons up to 450 degrees. Imagine putting that on your skin. It's hot. It's going to damage your hair. You know, and most people don't look at it like that. If you prefer to use heat, and I've seen people that have long hair with heat, but I'm just like, yo, it would be so dope to see people walking around in this they, they natural hair and they didn't straighten the hair. And like, how much length you'd be able to grow it out and how much quicker it would grow if you didn't use the heat. You know what I mean? So, no heat has definitely been helping me grow my hair out in two years. The next thing is uh, not doing the same damaging practices like using the heat, using the hair accessories that yank my hair out, um, flat ironing my hair to death, getting a sewing and flat ironing the leave out out to death, like stuff like that. Those are damaging practices. So I didn't revert back to those damaging practices. So that is why my hair has been able to grow the way that it has. Co-washing after deep conditioning let me put y'all on it so when you co when you deep condition right so i shampoo my hair and then i'll deep condition it with my deep conditioner i co-wash right after and that has accelerated my hair growth um a, a lot a ton like and that's the instructions on like some of the herbs that i get like once i make the mask they'll uh say you know co-wash after you deep condition your hair and that has made my hair growth speed up on a thousand y'all saw how i started and what i started out at when i big chopped my hair growth sped up on a thousand so co-washing after i deep condition sped up my hair growth the next thing is washing my hair washing my hair like my scalp is not dirty and when i use the scalp massager it lifts li it lifts up i can't talk all the dead um all the dead hair cells and hair particles and my hair is able to breathe and actually grow so when i'm washing my hair three times a week it's not a lot or four sometimes it's not a lot because um, I'm not sitting there and letting the dirt and stuff just sit there and block what could be coming through. So that is why I wash my hair so often. And that's why my hair has be, been able to grow um, so much because I, I wash it. I don't let it go. I don't go long periods of time without washing my hair. The next thing that I would say is changing my hair products. Like Kimberly Sherrell put me on it and then it took me a long time to physically start changing my hair products. But I realized that like all along, honestly, I really was. Cause when I would try out different hair products, I was technically changing my hair products, but I don't use the same ones because how she stated it was your hair gets used to a lot of the hair products. So you kind of do need to change it up. It is used to a lot of like the ingredients and stuff that are in there. That's why I was glad I started using the guacamole hair mask because I think my hair is used to using henna. I was using it for so long. So it's good to change up your hair products. I'm not going to say all the time and be a product junkie. But you know, when you, you're going to know when your hair is like used to products, you'll see it, you'll, you'll feel it. Um, you want to just change your hair products up. The next thing is I didn't follow trends like the last trend i follow and i was following it when it wasn't really popping yet Paige Lynn is the first person i ever saw do this with rice water that's the first youtuber i ever saw it might have been other people but i saw this woman by the name of Paige Lynn. she tried white rice water um and i followed that when i like big chops but it's like a protein treatment so uh, too much of it in your hair breaks off and that's what happened this part of my hair i got breakage and um you know i just stopped doing it so it was bad for me because it was a protein treatment and i was like overdoing it but that's the first person that i ever saw do it was Paige leanne um and it started becoming a trend later on in life and that's the last trend i've ever followed um i might try hair products but like trends like the wet look and stuff like that y'all not going to see me do that because that's just not something i'm into i'm kind of when i make my content i like to be my own person and create my own stuff so i don't really like to follow what other people do i like to kind of just do my own thing and do what i feel like is best for my hair so i know i don't want to risk following a trend and then i damage my hair like what happened with rice water because i was ODing and i overdid it so that's why I don't follow the trends of everybody else. Everybody has their own thing that they do. I like to just like, I'm more be like a leader and do my own thing and, you know, like just make my own type of content that's unique. So 
that's why I don't follow trends. I don't do the wet look and stuff like that. Sorry, y'all. My son's toy fell. The next one is um, a hooded dryer because, like, going into it again, the heat penetrates your hair cuticle and opens it up and has the products coming in so you need that and it's a good set of heat that's why it's not damaging for our hair and that's when i saw my hair thrive too when i started using my hooded dryer for my deep conditioning sessions so you know there's that you you definitely should invest in a hair and a hooded dryer they're not real expensive it's like i paid 62 for mine it's not like a, a, a um fancy one so you can do that so the next one is stretching my hair. I stretch my lash and goals. I'll do a video on how I do that. But, like, I stretch my lash and goals. I don't really ever let my hair shrink up. It's technically stretched right now. I stretch my hair very often. This is stretched right now. I don't let my hair shrink up around each other. And that's how I reduced a lot of my single strand knots. Natural Rain has, like, good stretching techniques that I watched about her for wash and goals and stuff. I talk about her a lot because I really admire the stuff that she does with her page and what she does for hair, and I love what she does. So, it's just, like, awesome. And I really enjoy watching her videos. And um, she she helped me out a lot when it came to color and my hair and all that, watching a lot of her videos. But um, I stretch my hair. And when I learned about that from her, along with like Kimberly Sherrell and other people, because Kimberly Sherrell introduced me to the hoodie dryer. She was like, you got to get a hoodie dryer for your wash and goes. And it took me a long time to like catch on. And, and once I got a hoodie dryer, it was like cool. And I was able to do all that. My next thing that I did was you got to be patient. It's hard. It's hard when you see other people's hair is thriving. I know because I've been there and you see their hair is long and you see they've gotten there, but they didn't grow their hair out overnight. It took them years to grow their hair like that unless they like just like mini chopped to like right here or like right here or something with their curly hair. It took them years to get to that point. And you have to think about that. Like their hair didn't just grow overnight. Like nobody hair grows overnight, y'all. Like nobody hair grows overnight. It takes time and it takes patience and you really, you know, you got to ask God for patience. God gave me the patience in the beginning. I wasn't patient. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait till my hair gets to the slump so I can do X, Y, and Z. And now that my hair has gotten to those limps, I'm like, no, oh my God, we still are not ever always satisfied. So you have to have patience. You have to have patience. Patience is a virtue. And once you realize that patience is going to get you far, it's going to take you a long, long way. So I would definitely say patience the next tip is consistency just make sure you're consistent with your hair doing the same routine consistent with what you do so your hair knows what's going on and knows what you're about to do it's not going to be confused like wait a minute like what are we about to do consistency is key if you want to grow your hair out it is definitely key if you want to grow your natural hair out the next tip is not listen people tell me about my hair like i had somebody when i first chopped my hair off i said you know i co-washed every day that was my routine when i big chopped somebody was like oh your hair gonna fall out your hair is not gonna never grow like why are you co-washing your hair every day like why would you why would you do that you're gonna black people don't need to wash their hair that much like no like your hair is gonna fall out it's not gonna never grow it's gonna be all broken off like you know people would say, that's what i mean they said mean stuff i need to do a video on the stuff that people have said to me <laughs> during my journey so y'all can just hear about the things that were said to me but we ain't gonna do that that's that's a waste of a video i can be giving y'all real good content like that's just some of the things that people said to me did i listen no i didn't stop co-washing my hair i kept doing it and then i just switched over and changed once my hair grew like you can't listen to other people that don't have your head of hair on their head you gotta that's why it's important to learn your head your hair because once you learn your hair you'll be able to see what it is is good for your hair and what's not good for your hair not what somebody else is telling you that's why i said like we make these videos but you gotta learn your hair once you learn your hair you're gonna be killing the game with hair growth and that's gonna be nothing like now i don't sit and wait for my hair and be like oh my god when is it gonna grow it's always growing because i don't be worried about it i'll be so busy with life i don't be worried about it you know so it's just you can't listen to what other people tell you and then my last thing is not worrying about other people's hair growth and other people's hair when i stop worrying about other people's hair growth and other people's hair and when my hair is gonna grow my hair just took off and grew when you don't be worrying about your hair it just grow like god kept me busy he knew what he was doing he got me busy and now i don't worry about my hair when you're not worried about your hair and you're not worried about when it's going to grow and you're not worried about how it's growing and you're not worried about 
you know, what's going to happen and you're not worried about, oh my God, like, why can't I get to the length that her hair is? When you're not sitting there lusting over somebody's hair, and I talked to y'all about that in a video too, when you're not sitting there lusting over their hair texture and wanting their hair and you just worry about your hair and you realize the beauty in your hair, your hair is just going to grow and it's going to take off and it's going to thrive. And when I really realized that and I stopped doing it, my hair grew a lot because i wasn't really worried about other people hair i stopped being worried about other people hair my first year yeah because when you big chop it's very different i'm not going to tell you it's hearts and rainbows i love my big chop cut but it was hard for me so i'm going to tell you that you know once you don't worry about other people's hair you ain't gotta worry about nothing here else your hair is going to grow god is going to take care of you and he's going to make sure that your hair grows and he's going to make sure that everything is all right in life but you definitely got to keep him first but i wouldn't lust over nobody else's hair and nobody else's length of hair like like i said i love natural rain's hair i love kimberly sherelle's hair i love there's a lot of youtubers on here i can't remember all their names natural 85 i love all their hair i don't lust over their hair they inspire me and motivate me to be like okay i want to keep going on my journey you know what i mean I have my own length goals and things like that, but I can't base it off of other people and what other people are doing. If I always focus on somebody else and somebody else's journey and I'm always trying to do what somebody else is doing, how I'm going to know for myself what's good for my hair and what's going to be good for me if I'm always focused on somebody else. I got to always focus and concentrate on me and that's something that God pushes me to do every day. I focus and I concentrate on me. I don't focus and concentrate on nobody else's hair because the only hair I have to worry about is Kimberly's hair. Like my hair that's grown out of my hair my head not somebody else's hair you know what I mean so that's just something I want to you know my tips and what I did to grow my hair out guys in my two-year time period it's not no no gimmicks it wasn't no clickbait it wasn't anything crazy it seems like it was a lot of information but like I said take some of their stuff and apply it and then if you don't apply it still you could put it in a playlist and refer or save it and refer back to it if you want to try something different but, you know, I'm just here to give y'all some advice because, you know, it's hard out here. It's definitely hard out here. But I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. I look forward to seeing you guys come back. And I thank you so much if you watched this for um, part two of this video. I thank you guys so much. And I will be talking to you guys soon. All right. Bye, guys.